Alright, so back with another game recommendation. Today is Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. Uh, this is developed by the Bearded Ladies. Link to will be in the description if you are interested. And this is a commercial game, so it's going to cost some money. And it's up to you if you feel like feel like it or not. In any case, um, on the main screen, you know, got some, got some nice art between the two two main characters. Uh, Ducks, which is the the bird guy, and I forget the name of the pig. It starts with a B. Or yeah, all those times you try to pronounce that. So we got Stalker Trials, which um, I think it's like a ranking thing, PvP or whatnot. I've never played it myself. I'm not really interested in competing with other people. So I'll uh, just show you the, some of the options you get here. You know, standard stuff. Auto save after combat. Mouse sensitivity. You got your controls. Okay, so if you're familiar with like XCOM games, it's kind of like that split uh, mixed with um, kind of real-time exploration. So you got some difficulties, you know. Here's the normal information, hard information, and very hard, of course. You also get Iron Mutant, which is perm permadeath. No manual save, auto save after every combat turn. So that's that you want. This game definitely offers some challenge if you're interested in that thing. But you know, I'm kind of a casualty to kind of games. I don't really feel like super challenging. So, and this is just a demonstrate thing anyway. So, we're just going to put on the easiest possible settings. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if you'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prick closes for the night. So this is leads to me one of my kind of disappointments with the game is that cutscene and then the one that looks even better than that. Um, offhand, those are the only two like actual cutscenes in the game, and had they added more, then well, I think it would have been a lot better. Uh, the gameplay got slightly tedious towards the end. I think in, in any case. Uh, Here's your real real time thing. You can switch between the characters you have in your party. There's a maximum of three allowed. There are other characters in the game you, you could eventually unlock as you progress through the story. And uh, yeah, so you see I can walk around now. I have my flashlight out. Now when you're in this mode, I, I'm sprint I'm sprinting. And uh, you, you there's like items you can find around the thing, like piles of gold, scrap, whatnot. And it's easier to see them when you have the flashlight on. But there's also a downside to this when it comes to enemies, which you'll we'll see a bit later, as I'll show you a bit of gameplay. Now, if I turn the flashlight off, I'm in stealth mode. This this makes it easier to sneak around enemies, which you're gonna be want you're gonna be want to be you definitely want to take advantage of. Not annoying. Shut the hell up. Want to see annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that nine thousand times already, Borman. I got this. So you can split up, split up from your partner, and you know, which is useful if you're exploring a new area, and you want you don't you just want them to stay out of your way or whatnot. Um, when you press F, they're a group. If they're too far away, they'll automatically warp to you. Um, let's see, we got the Q, right? So, as you can see, it's pointing to where I have to go. Like, this, this points towards, like, exits and entrances, and which will, the question marks will update once you, to what it's called, once you find out what the location is. This is, like, your, this and the 
north what north, north south east west thing at the top is like how you would navigate an area you know if you're trying to search for enemies or I items or whatnot inside of it there is no mini map so you have you'll basically be relying on this to know your position and uh, landmarks to know your position Just uh, searching around the corner for any like any pickup lootables that may, might be around. Jackpot. We got ourselves some scrap metal, Warman. This is worth a lot of grog back in the rock. Alright. Yeah. Um. So, eventually, I'll see some enemies, but. Things in this game are, are finite. There's a limit to them, you know, the scrap you could find, the enemies you could fight. So you have to make use of your resources to the yes, best of your ability. Alright, so you see that ring around him. That's that's the like vision thing they got going here. I'm in stealth mode, so it looks like that. But if I put on my flashlight, it extends, you know. You could get a little bit in it, but basically if you're inside of that, then a battle's going to start, which is turn-based, right? Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to right-click, hide my, my bird man over here. All right, um, I'm gonna bring the pig behind this wall, throw up an ambush, pressing space, and now it switches to turn-based combat. You get two, you get, Stucker gets two action points for each turn. Let's see, you know, some cost points, some will end your turn when used. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to ducks. Activate him. Then at the bottom you have your commands. You got move, shoot, throw for like grenades and stuff. Overwatch, which if you're familiar with these things is the standard thing. It'll it'll attack an enemy on their turn if they move. And to hide. So let's see. Um, you can carry up the two weapons. Uh, I'm on ducks right now, so he has this pistol, four damage, uh, s s seven seven damage if it's a critical. Um, the crossbow, which is four damage, five damage if it's a critical. Um, notice how the crossbow has silent in the bottom left. Well. This is something, the weapons like this are something you definitely want, want to take advantage of because this is a game you don't want to be outnumbered. You really don't. Like, you want to, like, take, you want to, like, use, like, silence weapons and uh, stealth to kind of, like, like, whittle the enemy forces down, like, over time. And, you know, it's a beginning thing, so these guys are really weak. Let's see. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go here. Okay, see see how it said will alert unit? So if I move there, they're gonna know. But I don't, I don't want to. It also tells, it also tells you like what they're, the 75%, the like I'm, see the Marauder on the left, the 75% is my chance of hitting him. So 75% ch chance there, 100% there. But you see the critical, if, if they see me, it's critical chance of five, five, and if they don't, it's critical chance of twenty. So I'm, I'm I'm gonna go here. Have a bit higher of a critical chance. Okay, I got I got the four damage.
All right, we're gonna add the bore. This dude got a scatter gun and a pistol. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if I, let's. All right, and there. Sleep it off. All right, so that's that. So that's the general death. Alright, so that's the general gameplay you could expect from this. Now, you, you also get a map. Like, say I'm in Area Thunderbird right now. There's a decent amount of locations. You, um, I'm gonna say your first time through the game, you know, assuming you go, for, if you try going to like 100% like all, all stuff found, all, all people killed, it'll probably take you like at, le at least four to five hours, I'm expecting. You know, it depends on your planning and whatnot. Because each, each encounter, you might want to like switch out different party members once you once you unlock some of the others like later in the game you know switch switch the type of gears and upgrades you have um the arc over here is your main hub where you're trying to you buy things upgrade your weapons and whatnot and you know you'll you'll be you'll be going there every day like uh pr pretty pretty often you could you could fast travel i mean i can't do it right now but uh, assuming i visited places I could just like click on a place and uh, fast travel there. Very, very, very useful. You know, you got you got your, you got uh, your squad screen. Let's see what your stat, stat, stats are. Inventory. Your character, your character can carry like, grenades. You know, two weapons. Uh, a helmet and armor. I think that I don't think the backpack was like limited to a. The backpack was like general items and stuff. I don't currently currently have anything. Mutations. Hold on. Okay, so mutations are like you know upgrades for your character. Uh, you know he got he got skull splitter. Uh, knee, knee shot and wings. Like one one cool thing about ducks. Say say you you get the wing, well you have to get you'll eventually get the wings ability. Once you get the wings ability, you could fly. Um. Which is uh, sh not very far from the like direct like directional wise from the spot you're standing, but it's useful for getting up up in the air. You can get on top of places you normally want to be able to reach. Um, when you're when you're like having higher altitude in this game gives you better accuracy, so you know that that's something to think of. But when you, say if you use this skill, uh, see on the bottom right it kills the recharge. Well, once you use this skill, you'll need to um, you'll either need to get three kills during the battle. Or finish the battle. Once the battle's finished, all of these, any of these skills, cooldown things you have will be reset. Very useful. Um, you know, and so basically, what you want to do is like look at look at the skills a character has, and then you kind of do like decide like how you want to use them based on that. Like ducks might be better as like a, a long distance sniper, maybe even like a stealth, a, a part, part, partial stealth character. The pig, the pig, the pig, uh, a Borman over here, you know, um, he might be better as like a close range, a little slightly tanky guy. You got like, you got health upgrades and stuff over here, a bunch of them, so he's definitely a nice tank. Not, not that you really want to tank like an RPG, but I'm saying he could, he could take like you know some some hits and like not die like, like ducks over here. Like he has eight health right now and ducks has six, which, at two points is could be the difference difference between life and death. And as you see, ducks does ducks has like some movement upgrades. Not all of them are health. Um, I think that's about it. Um. I think I'll I, actually yeah I'll keep playing a bit so I could show you something else maybe investigate this I'll keep playing until at least the arc so you can see that we saw one of these things once filled with zone dogs right the 
and sure knew how to build big pieces of garbage. So I'm just gonna kind of like. Hold it, bulls. I don't like the look of that big one. We have to be sneaky. Okay, here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water, go around them. Right, yeah, Red School. Um, when you see that Red School, like in the picture right there, that means it's a tough enemy compared to how what your current level is. So basically, it's the game's telling you like you might be you might have a really hard time or or be killed if you fight these people. So the, it, it, it's suggested that you avoid them. It's not it's not necessarily impossible to take them out, but you know it, it's it's your choice. Okay, so you see on the left behind that behind the other dude over there? Well, that's a box. Th th those things are something you're going to really love finding cuz they'll have like we weapons or armor in them which will you know, possibly, possibly come with something that'll m make your chances of survival easier in the in this uh, wastelands. Um, this is so as, as 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 a bit of a tip. I mean, you could you could consider like you know going into areas which you're not ready for, but as you see like going in stealth and kind of avoiding combat, and you know getting these boxes. I mean, in this case, I can't because his ring is clearly over the box but you know sometimes you could find sometimes you could uh potentially find things and uh get get better without engaging in combat and then you know just deal with those people later if you if you see fit Take a bath, get a grog with the boys, get another grog with the boys, foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. The campsite. Looks like his family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Hey, did he? Did one look at Borman's mutations here? Yeah, ho hog rust is a good uh, si silent uh, thing to, to weaken the enemy. Yeah. Welcome to play to the arc, but I forgot that there were several battles before you get there, and I don't want to really drag the video out. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty pre pretty much all there all there is to say about this one. I personally find it pretty fun. 
I thought I thought the story was simple. The characters, as well, they had personal. They had the, you know their their personality, but I think they lacked depth. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it would it would have been nice if there was more cutscenes, like uh, polished cutscenes like that, which would have made you know getting to the end a little bit more pleasant. Then it eventually kind of just evolves basically into you know clearing one area after the other. You don't necessarily have to, you don't necessarily have to clear everything. There's like several optional paths or whatnot, but yeah. Uh, this is this video is made before the up, up, upcoming DLC. That's you know planned for June of two thousand nineteen. Whether that comes out that month or not, I have no idea. But uh. That's all for this one. Um, hopefully, hopefully you find this game entertaining. Uh, have a good day.